Hey everyone, I'm Johnny and what we are looking at today is a replica World War II Army officer hat I bought from International Military Antiques. This is a non-sponsored review of what I think is an interesting hat to own. The cool thing about this style of hat, it was actually worn by Army and Air Force officers in World War II, so it's a versatile piece of kit to own for any reenactor. During uh, World War II and up until 1947, um, when the National Security Act was passed, the Air Force uh, was actually a branch of the regular Army and called the United States Army Air Force, which means uh, there were far more similarities between how the Army and the Air Force uh, were. And one of those similarities is, of course, the uniform, so hence the uh, shared cap design. Um, now, there are several variants uh, of this hat. This particular hat is in the khaki color. Um, which means that it was used uh, in the Pacific Theater. Um, the exact same hat would have been worn in the European theaters, but in a dark green olive color. Um, but both hats uh, would have had the same brown leather uh, brim and leather strap um, and were uh, identical as far as their construction. Um, there are two different ways to wear this hat. This hat uh, would have come with a metal ring um, to keep it flat on the inside here to keep it uh, this this top stiff like you'd see in this hat uh, but what many officers would do if they worked in confined spaces was take the metal wire out and turn it into a crusher variant uh, which means basically that the uh, the sides here would uh, kind of hang down and, and flop over the sides so if you were an officer who worked in confined spaces, particularly like let's say on a bomber, you would definitely want to take your uh, metal wire out and have it hang down the sides. That way you could fit your uh, radio equipment over top of the hat. You definitely couldn't wear a radio headset comfortably with the, with the way the hat is set up here. Um, this particular replica comes with a sort of foam uh, ring which uh, can easily be removed and you can turn it into a crusher if you want. Um, I may end up uh, removing it to give it the crushed look. The only problem is uh, you know if you do end up taking the foam out and forcing it into the crushed look you may have a hard time uh, getting it back into shape if you change your mind. But apparently the uh, crushed look uh, became a point of pride for many seasoned pilots so you know I think this could be a cool option and something I might consider. Um, so this replica cap is a, of a cotton construction. It's got uh, all leather visor and strap, which is of okay quality for what you pay for. Um, it has a sweatband on the inside. It's got the gold plate eagle buttons on the side and the gold plate metal eagle. And by gold plate, I mean, of course, uh, gold colored stainless steel, which again is not bad for what you pay for. Um, you certainly could buy one of these caps um, or one of these cap badges online and, and replace the, the cap badge if you wanted to. The genuine cap badges are not too hard to find on eBay if you want something more genuine. If you want an actual genuine cap, you can uh, spend you know a few hundred dollars on those. They're, they're highly collectible. But overall, I give this uh, hat a five out of five stars considering you know it only cost, I think, between 60 and 70 US dollars and it's comfortable but i don't know if i'm gonna wear it anywhere i'll probably just put it on display um, if you like this video please like and subscribe and we will see you next time